You are the cause in your life. And that cause can only be love. That cause can only be the desire for happiness, which is the fulfillment of love. As you see your love manifest in the world around you, then you begin to see a unit between yourself and the world. As you make these choices for happiness, the world begins to reflect who you really are and not your mask. The world around you, your home, your, uh, let's just say, let's take something as simple as the decor in your home. Why should we live with decor that a designer created or our parents wanted us to have or that just ha <clears throat> happened to go with the property? Have you ever thought about, I don't want that vase in my room. I want something that is bright and cheerful, that brings the light in the room. I want something that when I look up from my computer or my, or my meditation, I see joy. I feel the joy that I am. Make a choice about everything and let that choice be for happiness. Wear the clothes that make you happy. Be the way that makes you happy. And when you are really being the way that makes you happy, you are being the love that you are. I'm so often asked this question. Well, you, well, Glenda, you say love is who I am. How will I know it when I'm being it? <laughs> when you're happy. That infant that I talked to years ago, of course, is a young man now. And I hope he retained the happiness. I know on some level he has. And when we can recover that sense of inner happiness in ourself, we have no doubts that that happiness is coming from an inner well of endless love. 